Hello, in this video I will show you how we can control the administrative permissions inside your Active Directory infrastructure. If server owner says that to assign the administrator permissions uh, on, uh, on the specific server, so how you are doing? So you are just adding the users in, inside the administrators group on the servers by clicking on this command. I'm just going on the administrators group so I just entered the computer management command now here in the local groups users and groups you are just adding the users and uh, assigning the administrator permissions but think about that if you have assigned the permissions as a administrators uh, on any specific server so this user can add more users without informing the administrator, the domain active directory administrator. So in that case, you don't have the control. You cannot uh, control the administrator administrators group. So we just want to control the administrators group. So how we can perform? We can we can go on the active directory domain controller and will create a group policy that will help us to uh, that will help us to. Um, control the administrative administrative permissions on the server so i'm just logging on this active directory domain controller with putting my password and uh, i will go on the group policy management console where gpmc.msc this is the group policy management console before going on the G group policy management console I will create a group like infra servers admin GPO I just created a group group name and I added I'm adding engineer one and click on the apply so I just created a group infra server admins GPO and I added a users engineer one now I will go on the group policy and will create a group policy over here and uh, either you can create the group policy on a specific OU or just group policy container so I'm going to create a group policy inside the group policy container and uh, infra admin GPO I just assigned the name infra admin GPO group policy has been created now I need to edit this group policy and I will go on the computer configuration Windows settings uh, security settings here you have a group policy name is restricted groups so I just going to click on the add groups administrators I'm just searching this group name now I'm going to click administrators now adding the users or groups here you can add the users or group I'm adding a group which I created so this is infra server admin GPO now I will click on OK and we'll click on apply so this restricted groups has been added uh, inside the administrators I need to also add the domain admin or you can search through the browse I suggest you to always search a, speci uh, a specific group while clicking on the browse options now I just selected OK apply now I will close this group policy in fry admin GPO 
and I will link this group policy on a specific OU where my server decides so I will click on the link infra admin so all the infra admin servers will take this group policy because we have just linked this so when we when you are adding the group policy to for a specific OU so you must be careful where you are adding the group policy because if you will add this group policy on other OU where other server decides and you don't want to assign the permissions so this will create a problem and uh, you just can take the administrative permissions as well on another uh, server which is the part of other OU. Now I'm just going to click on the close. So this group policy has been created. We'll go on the server 2 where group policy will be applied. I will click on the run and I will run the GP update. Now I will click on the GP update. This is the command force forcefully. I will apply the group policy and uh, once the group policy will be applied we'll see the user group has been added and the manual account which I added on the server that has also removed so if you have multiple servers so you don't require uh, to add manually just create a group policy with the restricted groups uh, so the members of that group the members of that group will take the permissions on rest of the server which is the part of your OU currently if you will go on the infra servers so we, you have only one servers but suppose if you have 200 servers in the infra servers and if you want to assign the permissions to this user to access as an administrator in the, on all servers so how you will do it so you will just create a group policy uh, on the server and you will just hook this group policy to the uh, or to the OU where you want to assign the permissions so currently if you will go on the infra server so this OU this policy has been created with the settings like uh, restricted groups here we have just added the members inside this administrators built-in groups so in case if on this server if an engineer is just adding manually to the other users so this will be removed via, uh, after next group policy update or after rebooting of the server so I'm just adding this engineer to manually on this server because this user having the capability to add the users um, on this server as well now I will just run the GP update and uh, I will see the users should be removed automatically through the administrators group and only the users who is the part of uh, this group will work as a administrators members on the servers now I will go on the administrators group C this user has been removed automatically so re so restricted group policy re provides you the capability to manage the administrators members on the servers and this will help you to control control the administrators group membership and this will also uh, provide a, a right way to assigning the permissions on the servers thank you for watching this video in the next upcoming video i will share more information about the group policy.